now you're a senior like you've been in multiple tech companies mm -hmm. and now you're a senior security engineer yeah. how did you get to senior like you're you're 26 years old mm -hmm. and you're a senior like that those that's not almost a contradiction here in senior yeah. and 26. so i've i've been a senior since i was 20 i just had to do that since i was 24. But, uh, <laughs> get it <laughs> right get it that. right um so the thing is it's really just like development and skill like mm -hmm. before i became a senior um i went to consulting so i consulted with booze Allen for about two years and I tell people, like, even though, like, I ended up um, leaving there or whatever, that was the best experience I could have had. Mm -hmm. Like, the amount of experience that I would have had, like, I probably wouldn't be getting that experience until, like, now or a couple years later. Like, yeah. I was doing all type of stuff. Like, I was doing, like, architect, like, building out Splunk architectures, like, coming in, building in programs, like, mm -hmm. vulnerability management programs. And, and sorry, like, I was, like really seeing like seeing stuff on the ground up and just really learning so i had to wear so many different hats and it, typically most people that go into consulting they don't get that experience they're mostly just pushing a sales spreadsheets and presentations mm -hmm. and stuff like that but luckily the team i was on i got like a lot of different experience and like as i got that experience i like i feel like i can be a senior now so i just started planning jobs i started looking at the um, job descriptions it was one job that was like we we want someone with a PhD. I'm like I like a PhD. Yeah, but I'm I'm looking at the skill set. I'm like I can do all of these. I can do all of this. Only thing that I don't have is the PhD and the ten years of experience. But I always try to tell people like when they ask for a certain amount of experience, ignore that because a lot of times the the software or the product that they're asking ten years for haven't even been out for ten years. Probably been out for <laughs> Bro, two I've three heard years. That. Yeah. Bro, <laughs> did you uh? There was a dude who applied to a company. And they had asked for like a certain skill set, and they say, "Yeah, you have to have the experience for this long." Mm -hmm. Not only had the, that software not even been out that long, mm -hmm. the dude was the one the who created. It. It. You heard about <laughs> yeah, that? I saw he that. created it and didn't yeah. get the job. He's like, "I actually created the software." <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that job was so wild. Yeah, no. So that that happens a lot. That's why I tell people all the time: like, forget the job description. If you if you see some skills on there that you know you have the skill to do. Apply anyways, bro. Yeah. Let them tell you no. Yeah, Don't tell every, yourself every no. Every tech company I've been at, I didn't technically fit the role. Like, I, yeah. I looked at the description. There were things on there where I was like, my first tech company, they say, oh, we you need to know how to code. And, no. I, and my first interview with them, I was like, uh, hey, I'm letting y'all know I don't know how to code. And then <laughs> exactly. they were kind of like, they were like, okay, cool. We don't either. <laughs> and then I never had to code there. Yeah. It was like, yeah. So nah, I, I've that's... even told people, I'm like, yo, do not focus on yep. the don't don't focus on all of it. But yeah. I love hearing you talk about that from like as a you know security yeah. engineer. Yeah, because it's been like it's been a lot of things. Like me personally, I don't call myself a coder. I can code script and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. But like it was come to the, like a lot of job interviews. Like I had to say coding test, and I, I tell them straight up, I was like, I'm not a coder. Like I'm a scripter. Like I I do just enough to make my job easier. Like I code to make my job easier. I don't code to make everybody else's job easier. Mm. So and they're like, okay, cool. Like as long as you could, like efficient enough to like you know automate certain tasks and things like that, that's fine. Yeah. So you don't need to know how to code though. And yeah. So. <laughs>